rebuilt a fully immersive Ghostbusters Halloween haunt that gave participants the experience of what it's like to be a real Ghostbuster. The night before we opened, I recorded this video, a full, lights-on, behind-the-scenes review of all of our props, sets, and everything else. This is an in-the-raw, stressed-out version of me the night before we were about to open, experiencing the blissful mix of excitement of opening night and the terror of having people actually come into your experience all at the same time. So, without further ado, here is me. Today has been chaos. So I'm going to use a few minutes to try and catch you up on everything that has happened. To tell you that I'm feeling stressed and a little bit overwhelmed is an understatement. Um, we have a lot of people coming. <laughs> We're sold out, so this has got to be good. We have redecorated the desk here to look like a workshop that the Ghostbusters are using. We have our proton pack that's in pieces, and then this, our finished proton pack. We have created some jump leads to have people jump this this pack that is not working. So if you look closely here, you'll see these wires connected to the jumping connectors that go all the way around here and kind of look very cobbled together in Ghostbusters style. And then we've got a couple of little surprises. You see there's an LED there. It's a bright blue LED. Same in the other one. And then what we've also added, this is an offset motor, which creates a vibration. So when they touch the wires together, that will vibrate and create the sensation of like an electric charge or a little shock. When you touch these together, that's the effect. You see the LEDs going inside like that? <laughs> they make a bright light. It's a really simple gag, but I absolutely love it. Just trying to make a spark. See that? Okay, now before you do this, just turn around. This is what you look like before the burns. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, are you ready? So hold these. Hold it together. You got it. Keep pushing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. See if we can do this. And then what happens, of course, is when they've done this, um, the packs, they, they start. And we've got smoke effects, and we've got a big sound. Okay, it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, 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 we're good. But it means that this room is done, thankfully. And when we get the smoke in here, we get the sound in here, it's gonna be fun. It's not gonna look like my workshop anymore. It's gonna look completely different. Okay, this brings us up to the main showroom where it all happens. Again, in the light, it looks a bit nothingy. So let me show you around this space. This is a trap that's fully automated. It opens and closes. Very proud of that. I can't wait for you to see how that works. And then above it, a uh, proton pack kind of slung from the ceiling. And the idea is that this has been set up to point at the trap. And then all the cabling and controlling for it runs up here. Hello there. <laughs> and then there's a button here that can be pressed to activate the, uh, the pack. And there it goes. And you'll notice with this button, again, we tried to keep it in universe. It's kind of worn, Ghostbusters Afterlife style, but it has the same type of button as a, as a pack um, that you would have on an Intrino wand. Uh, what I love about this prop is actually, it was just a, a box that the, um, one of the switches we used came in and then we just kind of spray painted it. It's actually clear. I don't, don't want to try and open it because it might break it, but. Yeah, um, really pleased with that. Very simple prop, but it looks great and in universe, very happy with it. This was the big job last night that took forever. It's also where my time-lapse camera ran out. But this is the control box for the trap. And the idea here is to give somebody something tangible to hold on to uh, while they go through this exercise. We could have had a foot pedal like in the movies, but we wanted something that somebody could hold so it was up uh, at the height that everyone could see. We're gonna prime the trap. We're gonna open this. You're gonna press that button for me. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. Don't let you be. And again, we kind of made it look Ghostbusters Afterlife in universe. That when you turn this on, let me see if I can do this. You can hear that, that buzzing. We put one of the vibrating motors in here, uh, just like on the jump leads. And the trap button, you push it down and the trap opens. How amazing is that? And then you press it down and the trap closes. 
And it's worth noting that um, we did not buy the trap like this. It was just a regular manual trap. I've added servos, all of the wiring and controls. And this is where we come on to the next awesome thing. So back here behind the trap, you will notice this, which is a smoke machine. It sends up a big vertical plume of smoke right behind the trap. So if you stood over here, from this point of view, smoke looks like it's coming directly out of the trap. And the projection, which is behind me, projects onto the smoke. So when we combine this effect with the video of Slimer being captured, you project onto the smoke, the smoke comes out in front of the lighting. You get all of those vibes of catching a ghost. And what's great about this is people are gonna be able to walk in here and actually catch a ghost for themselves using a trap, seeing it all work. Uh, it's gonna be so much fun. We tested it last night. It's the business. So I mentioned projectors. Got these two mini projectors. One facing at this piece of scrim. Now this whole room is designed to look like uh, dust sheets over old shelves and things. We can project on this scrim, but also we can project on the wall behind the scrim here. So we get to project in two spots. So when Slimer first appears, it's using this projector, this one under the table, and then when he's trapped, it's on this one. But it gifts us the opportunity that when they people first come into this room, they see Slimer behind the screen, kind of over here. This looks very transparent because the light's coming from behind it and not on it. And then when Slimer comes towards them, we move towards this screen, which means you get this really cool effect of, of Slimer literally poof, coming straight at them. No! And again, that has a really cool impact um, on the folks in the room. Very excited to test that out on people tonight. So all in all, that's the room. Oh, and one last thing. I forgot the 4D. This is great. So under all these dust sheets here, you'll see we've actually set up, oh, if I can, two fans. And what those fans do is they blow air, obviously, that's what fans do, out across all of these dust sheets and they make everything move. And so when people come in here, the fans, they're connected to a DMX controller and they blow all of these curtains around so people feel like there's a presence. So when I'm in here doing the scare acting, I'm able to say, oh, do you feel that? Do you feel that presence in the room? Just stay back, guys. And all of these curtains start to move. And we do that on multiple occasions. Combine this with the light flashing, which is kind of an indicator that there's a ghost here. You know what that means? I do know what that means. That means there's a ghost nearby. It's fun. I was about to sign off and I realized there's one other thing that we have that's great. To create a sense of depth, we've got remote control candles. These are, and they're great. Yay. To find out how we made that fully working trap and to watch the whole walkthrough, you can watch these two videos. These ones, just click. Either one, doesn't matter. Maybe this one first. Or maybe. Just click on both of them, one after the other.